What's the hot topic? Enchanted by fiber optic. While the underground build-out draws to a close, aerial crews continue to string miles of fiber optic lines to complete the $64 million economic boost to northern New Mexico. Here, a TAUS crew installs fiber optic in Garapata Canyon. They use a 90-pound lasher. It attaches the fiber to a steel cable as men below pull it up the steep hill to the next telephone pole on the highest ridge line of the canyon. This is about a 800 foot span right here and I'd guess a good 60 feet up in the air. The Enchanted Light Project has infused millions of dollars into the economy of northern New Mexico. Local crews have been working for the past two and a half years. For the many Taos area subcontractors, it's meant a steady paycheck not having to look for work out of state and keeping close to family. It's meant the ability for approximately, just with my crew alone, about you know somewhere between 12 to 16 families being able to pay their bills and send their kids to school and uh, you know keep their lights on at home. So it's been it's been real, real godsend. It's really been great not having to go out of state to to you know survive. I've been able to be around my kids, you know, I'm able to adjust my hours to be close where when my kids do need me. And we have purchased little things, they've gotten iPads. Alex Herrera of Angel Fire says it's been a boost to Angel Fire and his crew. Most of the people that I have employed are not upper echelon people, they are laborers, pick and shovel type guys who probably would not have had a job otherwise. Juan Valdez of El Prado has employed up to 24 Taos residents. Everybody's been working continuously 40 hours, if not more. So it's been a really great benefit to, to this community. It's helped a lot. I've been able to move back to Taos, start, start building a house here, take vacations and stuff. Keeping so many locals and out-of-state people working creates a multiplier effect for our economy. TCS, Telecommunications Systems, the underground contractor, has paid out more than $13 million in wages to locals. In turn, restaurants, hotels, home rentals, and area businesses reap the benefits. In addition to date, TCS has paid $1.5 million in gross receipts taxes, helping the town of Taos and the county governments of Taos, Colfax, and Rio Arriba. As a Taos worker unravels a fiber optic cable to show what's inside the fiber tube, now more than ever, with the Chevron mine in Cuesta shutting down for good, these tiny filaments of glass offer a way for people unemployed to start a new future online. In the next report, Fiber Lights Up. The future of fiber optics is electric. Brought to you by Kit Carson Electric. What's the hot topic? Enchanted by fiber optic.